Hey guys, what's going on? Good evening. Um, it's Mr. Martin here, and I have a tip for those of you who are going on interviews. So over the last six months, I've been in about 60 to 80 different interviews, and this is what I've learned, the what I've liked. And actually, I ran this by um, a few of the other man hiring managers there with me, and even the owner, he kind of threw in his input, but uh, um, these are the interview do's and don'ts for interviews. So let's start with the do. Um, so one of the things that you should always do in an interview in an interview is be early. Um, it, it looks really good to you uh, to your character that if you're early, uh, usually 10 to 15 minutes is good enough. You don't have to go on more than that. Um, dress up. You got to make sure that you dress up, uh, make sure that you wear formal attire, do it's a first impression thing. So make sure that you are, you know what I mean? Like you're going to church, you wear your Sunday best. Uh, always research what the company does, uh, research what the company does, what they do. Uh, essentially when you get to the interview, you don't want to be caught off guard when they ask you. So did you have a little bit of time to research the company and what we do here? You don't want to say no, you don't know because then that just looks like you're unprepared. So research, um, clean grooming again, back to the first impression. So for you guys, make sure that you don't have like, you're all, you're all like all over the place. Make sure it's nice, clean shave. You get a haircut, uh, for your ladies, make sure that you are, um, Presentable as far as don't, you know, you know, all right. Um, ask questions. So this one's actually very important. This was where, this is your chance to stand out. They say one of the tips for interviews is uh, you should try to get them to be talking. So if I'm the interviewee and I have interviewer people, I always try to get them to talk about themselves. Like not necessarily like in a, like talk about me kind of thing, but what what interests you most about this position? Why do you like working here? Uh, where do you see the company within five years? Uh, why this over that? So these type of questions will help you stand out at the end of the interviews when they give you those times. And if you say, I have no questions, then um, you're really missing a key, a key point there to stand out. Um, <laughs> answer the question so i don't know how many interviews i've been where we the first question the first question is um so tell us about yourself so i say tell me about yourself and right away the person starts talking about what they did in the previous job it's like dude slow down like literally i'm just trying to see who you are as a person before i can um give you the opportunity to to come on board um, make eye contact. Uh, it, it looks nothing worse. I've had, so in our interviews, we typically have multiple people in there. So, cause normally multiple departments are hiring. So it's kind of two birds, one stone. Um, but people are like looking around when you're talking to, so my name is Martin, you know, uh, I grew up around here. I'm local and, and they're just looking all over the place. It just looks, that just looks horrible. Make sure you make eye contact. I'm looking there. Uh, <laughs> cause you can tell, um, just so bring the copies of your uh, of your resume i would say of your updated resume don't bring old copies so that's a do bring the copies of your updated resume um and relax relax don't don't overthink it the it's kind of well not really it's not nerve-wracking for me it was in the beginning you know what i mean because i um i was kind of new to, I'm like, man, I have to make this decision. The company's gonna have to, you know, uh, use money on who we decide. So, you know, but overall, after you see a few candidates, you go over the questions, you kind of set it up, it just becomes natural. So this is kind of one of the do's. So let's get into the don'ts. So the do nots. Um, so for sure, for sure, for sure. So I know I said dress up formal, but so don't dress up in casual wear. Um, I don't know how many interviews we've had where people show up in sneakers. They show up in like those uh, windbreaker stuff. Totally unprofessional. Um, that's not like office attire. Uh, don't ramble. So one of the things is, when you ask the question, make sure you're answering, but people tend to ramble on about other non things. And by the end of it, they don't even know where they're at. And you can tell, and we're just like, just marking it and going. 
Um, definitely, definitely don't be late. I'll tell you right now, if you're late for the interview, you better have one hell of an interview because other than that, for me, I'm out, I'm out. Um, don't be looking around the room. So this kind of goes with, with making eye contact. Don't be you know, all over the place. Uh, so just be careful with that. Um, I feel like I have to sneeze right now, sorry. Uh, don't look around the room. Don't be too cocky, you know what I mean? Ah, I start to sneeze. <sighs> and go, it's gone. All right, so don't be too cocky. Uh, you can tell, it looks bad, you know what I mean? Because if you're really cocky, then it kind of comes off like, dude, like I'm still looking for culture, you know what I mean? I need you to be somewhat, you know what I mean? Get along with other people, and if you're cocky, that that really rubs people the wrong way. So that's not going to help you. I know confidence is definitely something that you want to um, project, but cocky is too much confidence. Like if you're there, tone it to there is good enough. Um, one thing I don't know what's going on. I hear it's a big thing right now. Um, is don't re don't call to reschedule your interview now. I don't know how many times we've already gotten emails to where people cancel the day of, they ask to reschedule, family emergency. I've heard all the emergencies like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And then you reschedule and then there are no shows because overall, I well now I've learned just don't take any reschedules because um, they're not gonna show up anyway. And I know like um, unemployment, the way it works, you might have to show some sort of proof that you're trying. So for them, they're trying to reschedule shows that they're trying above and beyond. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing, but that shit's annoying. Um, oh, the only time I guess you can reschedule is if you're going to do it for an earlier time, right? So I'm okay with that. So if you're like your interviews at noon and you're like, hey, so I'm available at 10. Is that okay? Blah, blah. You could do those. You know what I mean? That's okay. Or my interviews tomorrow. Is there any way availability today? Like that looks good. That looks like you're eager. You're interested in the position and um, you're, you really, you're committed and don't make sure that your resume doesn't have any mistakes because, um, and up again, updated because like, you don't, when we ask you, they're going to ask, oh, are you currently, uh, are you currently working or were there gaps or whatnot? If, and if it shows present, I don't know how many interviews I went, one of the things showed present and I was like, oh, you still working there? And they're like, oh no, it's been a couple of weeks since I haven't worked there. And it's like, thank you. Cool. So those are really my do's and don'ts the things that i have learned um after over the last six months of out of all the interviews that i've done um i think we've done pretty well for ourselves our retention rate is is, is pretty good right now um we it's one of those things where you don't want to rush it don't hire just to hire make sure you hire right because if you hire just to hire you're going to end up spending more time uh trying to mold that that person to when it, at the end of the day it just wasn't a good fit two things people are looking for is if if you're a good fit or you can do the job you have to be both you can i know you're good sometimes you're just good you you can do the job but you're too cocky and they just you know what man you're not going to be a good fit or other times man they are they have such a good can do attitude i love it but they just they can't type, they can't spell, you know what I mean? Because they ask you to write out a sentence and then just, you know? So just keep that in mind. Uh, you wanna be a good fit and you wanna be able to show that you can do the job. This is Mr. Zamora's interview do's and don'ts. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to put it down in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Talk to you later.